Hey guys, it's Nick from Pick'em and Man. I'm back with another video for you guys. I just wanted to make this uh, first time making a PFL predictions video. I know a lot of people don't make this type of content out there, so uh, I wanted to be one of the people that do take the time out there and um, make some PFL content. I did pretty good on the last card. I mean, let's look at the let's look at the last card. I mean, I think I did like um, 12 or something. Like, um, sorry guys, just give me a second. I'm gonna pull it up right now. So the last card we did uh PFO overall, I mean promotions PFO. So overall PFO, um I've been tracking my bets and we're at seventy two percent, seventy two and twenty seventy two point twenty two percent in PFO. And this is uh our my record is sixty five. Sixty five wins and twenty five losses. So we've been doing pretty good um and this is a good play i mean i really like this play last weekend um kes kes kesanganai by knockout um this is an easy knockout for him in the first round i mean martin hamlet does not have anything on the feet for impa but yeah guys let's talk about the about the next pfl card we have uh not the best card name wise name name value wise but um pretty damn good we have uh the first fight on the prelims we have uh louis sutherland versus uh dick one daekwon dick dewan buckley um what a name i mean this is gonna be a hard fight i'm not really looking to be betting on this fight um i think uh overall sutherland probably faced a better competition um, both of these guys are uh, in their 20s. Uh, Sutherland is 29 years old, whereas uh, Buckley is 27 years old. Um, the reach and height does go to Sutherland here. Um, uh, Louis Sutherland coming off a uh, loss in his last fight. Um, we have um, Buckley coming off a win. Buckley's faced some pretty good competition overall. I think he's faced uh, one fight, one win in the LFA, one win in the PFO. He's been submitted once by um, him. I think he's fighting on the card too. But yeah, I'm gonna be. Uh, I don't know who to pick, man. I think everyone's picking Buckley here. Um, I don't know how you can be super confident on him, but yeah, he does have KO power, and he can probably he's probably gonna be able to get it done. So let's go with Buckley here for the first fight by knockout. Let's go to the next fight on the prelims. We have uh, Caitlin Neal versus uh, Myra Mazar. And I'm going to go with Caitlin Neal, man. I think she's going to win by out volume, landing more volume here, maybe mixing in a takedown or two. So she's really good at winning these uh, decisions over these uh, girls that don't have the best skills or knockout or any finishing power. I mean, she does have the five knockouts, but uh, at this very low level fighter, she's been knocking out. Um, well, she also has a loss to Jiang Wei Li back in 2016. I mean, well, Jiang Wei Li's got wins over so many girls, I guess. But yeah, man. There's another girl that's fighting on the Dana White Contender Series that's also uh, got a loss to Jiang Wei Li, I think. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to be going with Caitlyn Neal. Uh, I don't think you should be betting on this fight because th th this is a women's MMA and too many unknowns. But uh, Neal should be able to get the job done here by decision. Okay, guys, let's go to the next fight. We have the heavyweight go heavyweight going at it. Uh, big boys going at it. We have uh, Danilo Marquez versus uh, Satoshi Isi. Uh, I'm going to be going with the, the underdog here. Um, I know he's 37 years old. But the other guy isn't all that young either. A lot of people going with uh, is he. I think because he's got to win his last two fights. Putting things together right now. But um, man. Marcos has a lot of UFC. A lot of experience. He's been in the UFC also. He's got 2-2 two and two in the UFC. 2-1 and one in the PFO. 0-1 oh in LFA. So he does have... A lot of he's faced a lot of good fighters, man. Look at this. Uh, he's faced uh, Kennedy and Jechiku, uh, faced Jalton Almeida, uh, got knocked out by Grand Pound. But uh, that's happening to everyone. I mean, 
Then he won three fights in a row. Last the uh, last one to Marcelo Nunes. He looked kind of off in that fight, but I'm gonna take the shot on the underdog here. I'm gonna go with Marquez by uh, decision. Okay, guys, let's go to the next fight on the prelims. We have Abraham Babe Babley versus Anthony Vint. And I'm gonna be going with the uh, Abraham Babley man. I think um, he's been in the PFL already for a couple of fights, two fights I guess, but still, that's a good level experience against good level competition. Whereas uh, we have uh, Anthony Vint coming off a win by knockout over a two and two guy. Um, so does have wins over six and two guy at PFO. It's not. It's not really PFO, is it? What is that? Titan. Okay, that is Titan FC. Okay. Premier Fight League. Okay, that was what PFO was. I guess that was PFO. Premier Fight League, not PFO. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna be going with the uh, Abraham Babley from England to get a. I don't know if he's gonna knock him out, but I think he's gonna win by decision. Oh, striking him, maybe uh, out cardio him. This is gonna be uh, Anthony Vince's hardest fight yet, and I think everyone's going with Babley. Yeah, everyone's going with Babley by knockout. I'm gonna go by decision, man. I don't know if he's gonna be able to knock out Anthony Vince. Maybe submission. Does have KO power, but um, um. Yeah, he could knock him. Maybe he's gonna knock out Anthony Wint. Let's go Abraham Babley by knockout. I don't want to pick all decisions. Okay, guys, let's go to the next fight on the prelims. We have Chris Mixon, Mixon versus Eddie George. I'm gonna go with the Chris Mixon man. I think um, him already fighting in the UFC. I like it's good to have a good experience at the PFL level, cause uh, anyone else that's coming from fighting these lower level tomato cans. They're not going to have the high level experience that it takes to win fights at this level. And I think everyone's going with the uh, Mixon, yeah. 91% that's crazy. Uh, this fight's going to be a lot closer than people think. But yeah, I think uh, Mixon's going to be able to get it done. I'm going to say by, uh, by decision. Okay guys, let's move to the main card now. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Leave a comment below for your boy for the algorithm. And uh, let's talk about the first fight on the main card. We have uh, Nate Kelly versus uh, Damian Nelson. Damian Nelson is a uh, 2-5 in, in his last 5 fights. Whereas uh, Nate Kelly is a uh, 5-0 five, uh, oh in his last 5 fights. He's got uh, Nate Kelly has faced a much better competition overall. He's got fights in the PFL, one fight in Bellator. He's got good level experience, man. That's gotta, that's gotta count for something. He has been knocked out early back in 2017, but um, I don't think uh, Damian Nelson is gonna knock him out here. He only has one win by knockout, three wins by decision, and I just don't see him winning a decision win decision here against Kid Nate Kelly. Um. Unless he catches him with like a big shot, puts him down or something, Nate Kelly should be able to win this all day long. I'm gonna say decision, man. Unanimous decision for Nate Kelly. And uh, well, people are going submission. Maybe he's a really good submission guy, but yeah, I don't think he's gonna submit. Has been submitted before, so maybe he is gonna submit him. But I'm gonna go by decision, man. I don't think it's gonna be easy for him to submit a guy like Nelson. Okay guys, let's go to the next fight on the main card. We have the women's MMA again. Marina Moknatkina versus Amber Lee Um, Can we just talk about the name? Why do these names have to be so crazy? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's a 12 letter last name. That's absolutely insane. But guys, let's talk about the fights now. We have Marina Coming off uh, four wins in his la in her last five fights, she fights out of Russia. Um, she's got a she's got three wins in the PFL already, so that's good level competition. Whereas we have uh, Amber Lee Brook, 
She's also got some good fights at the PF4. She's got one win in the PF4 by Nakar. And she lost to Larissa Pacheco. Larissa Pacheco is an absolute animal. So you can't really hold that against her. But yeah, man. Uh, I think uh, Marina Moknatkina is going to get the win here. Both of them, both of these girls are 35 years old. Uh, Amber Lee broke is 6 feet tall with a 72 inch reach. Whereas uh, Marina is 5'6 with a 66 inch reach. So Lee Brooke is going to have a big reach advantage here. But uh, I don't know if she's going to be able to use it. Because uh, she doesn't normally go for submissions. And she doesn't have the best durability. She's been knocked out 4 times in her 5 losses. So I'm going to go with uh, Marina. Who's the... Uh, Never been finished in her career, so that's got to count for something. Marina by Nakar. Okay, guys, let's go to the next fight. The featured pre me featured fight on the main card. We have Dennis Goldsub versus Jordan Heaterman. Man, jo Jordan Heaterman is undefeated as of right now. Um, this dude looks very promising so far. 31 years old. At 60 with the... Uh, 78 and a half inch reach on a 2 5 win streak right now. He's got a uh, he's very well, well rounded, got uh, two wins by Naka, three wins by submission, one win by decision, and one win by disqualification. And he's uh, 5 0 in LFA, 1 0 in PFO. Uh, last uh, in exhibition MMA to Jack Paugo, who's in the UFC right now. That was in the Ultimate Fighters, so uh, he's been in the Ultimate Fighters. That's got to be a good experience for him. But man, this is a tough test for him. Because um, Denise, this Dennis guy is no joke. Uh, he does have a loss to uh, Ante Deliza, who is an absolute monster. But man, um, Ali is live. So it's not like he hasn't been knocked out before. He's got three wins by knockout. I mean, he's got... Three losses by Naka, three win, three losses by submission. So when he does lose, it's usually by by finish. But uh, look at the competition he's facing, man. He's facing really good competition too. He's got so much experience over a guy like uh, like uh, Jordan Hiderman. Like six five with a seventy eight range reach. So the the reach is pretty much the same here. But I do think. Um, the Russian is gonna be the big favorite going into this fight, but man, people are—I think people are sleeping on uh, Jordan Heaterman. Um, I'm not really gonna be betting on this fight because um, Jordan Heaterman is dangerous. He knows how to win these fights. Like, look at this—he's got a submission win in LFA. He's undefeated in LFA. Got a knockout win over Patrick Patrick Brady. Knee injury, so I don't know how that went. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Dennis Goldsub to get a decision win here, but I'm not confident at all. It should not be this wide. It should be like maybe 60-65% to 35%. But yeah, everyone's sleeping on Heater Man. I think he's got a pretty big chance, man, to get a big upset here. Making big improvements also. He's staying active. Um I think he's got a big, big uh, chance here to get upset here. But yeah, I'm going to pick uh, Dennis Goldsub with the experience level that he has. Almost 30, he's got 38 fights overall, so that's going to, that's going to count for something. Okay guys, let's go to the core main event of the evening. We have the women's MMA champions. I think they are champions, right? Yeah. No, they're they're contenders. Never mind. So yeah, we have um, Olina Kolesnik going up against Larissa Pacheco, and look at the people, man. Ninety-seven percent going with Pacheco. Man, I don't know how why they matched her up against Pacheco, but Pacheco is gonna have a field day with her. I think she's gonna knock her out in the first or second round. I'm gonna go by Larissa Pacheco by a second round knockout. Okay, guys, let's go to the main event of the inning. 
We have uh, Renan Ferreira versus Maurice Green. Maurice Green coming off a loss just a month ago uh, to Ante Deliza by unanimous decision. He, he, Ante Deliza almost had him out of there a couple of times, but just pretty much gassed out after. And uh, Maurice Green had the opportunity to get an upset there, but he just didn't throw a lot of volume, doesn't do enough for me to pick him here. Sorry guys, excuse me. But yeah, I think Kafir is gonna knock him out here, man. This dude's got a lot of power and he's putting everything together right now. Um Ferreira does have uh has been knocked out once, been submitted once. Four and one in the PFL cage. Three wins by knockout. Yeah man, this dude faced a much better competition. I think Maurice Green used to be in the UFC, yeah. He's four and four in the UFC, one and two in the PFL. Um, that win over Marcelo Nunes was a really good win. He got knocked him out on the feet. But yeah, man, I think um, if he starts trading with uh, a guy like uh, Ferreira, he's gonna get put out cold here. Uh, so let's go, to, uh, Renan Ferreira by first round knockout, guys. And everyone agrees, 94% people agree that he's going to get knocked out here. Okay guys, that's it for the PFO video. Best of luck to you guys if you guys are betting PFO. And uh, I'm going to be try. I'm gonna try to come up with a PFO and the UFC parlay for you guys. And um, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. And um, hopefully in the future I'll be making more PFO videos for you guys. So please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um... I, I will be making more content for you guys. I will, I will be also making up maybe LFA videos also for the main card. So there's a lot of content coming for you guys soon. So please uh, support your boy with the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, best of luck to you guys on your bets for this weekend guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.